Well, I think that uh, this summit is really important because uh, uh, ACCJ has a long commitment uh, to representing women in business. Uh, but I think it's a really proud day in which now Kansai has its own day and is celebrating you know, the strength of the Kansai area and hosting its separate uh, event. So when uh, the organizers, uh, organizers asked me to participate, I thought it would be a great event to be in the first dedicated Kansai event. The world is diverse. So um, uh, Japan is a diverse country. People have different backgrounds. Uh, they like different styles of food. They like uh, uh, different sports, different activities. And of course, uh, the Japanese industry and service uh, component of the economy is very varied. And therefore, I think we see diversity everywhere. So the key is how do we include and are inclusive into that diversity in our business initiatives. Um, uh, extensive research has shown that most diverse companies perform better. And that is not a surprise because they really represent the society as a whole and they're able to address their customer needs better. So I think there is a very clear case of diversity and inclusion driving uh, business growth and making companies be more vibrant and more interesting for employees and for customers. I think every individual has a, a, a personal role to play. You know, we can have uh, government regulations, we can have government guidelines, we can have company mandates, but at the end, diversity and inclusion is about each one of us. What can we contribute to make that a reality? And I think that the most successful companies are the companies that have empower each individual to choose how they participate and how they enable uh, that goal. Uh, it's not about only macro things, it's about micro things. And I think each one of us can, can do a few things every day to improve diversity and inclusion in our environment.